Yeah, so it's um, it, it, it's um, it's really by chance that we came up with this idea. It was like, uh, honestly, uh, we were still at the ETS and uh, Jonathan wanted to design a robot. And so, of course, it's easier to design a small robot than start with a big robot. It's mm -hmm. cheaper and... Um, and uh, the gearboxes, everything was uh, more affordable. Uh, but then, um, then uh, once this was done, it, we were like, wow, it's, uh, if you go to my lab and then look at all these robots, even the smaller ones, they still have these big controller boxes, like a big mm -hmm. desktop PC, and then big cables, and then uh, big uh, teach pendants, and... Um, and then sometimes for, for many applications, it doesn't make sense because it just kind of uh, displays uh, small uh, screws or small uh, pinions mm -hmm. or whatever for the watchmaking industry. And you can probably fit uh, this big robot, but it's, um, it just doesn't make sense, you know, because uh, usually in, in all these applications where I see our robots, they, they, I don't really see how they can they fit like a bigger one. And mm -hmm. it's more, I, I would say our competitors are not bigger robot arms. It's, uh, it's really like custom made uh, okay. linear guides, uh, a couple of linear guides with some rotary um, uh, stage. Um, so it's, uh, they, they don't have like people, they don't have space. So what, what kind of examples? I mean, the applications that our robots uh, do most of them are are not very, uh, you know, uh, nothing very very original. It's just small parts. Like let's say instead of palletization, you display uh, dental implants or uh, catheters or um, or uh, for the watchmaking industry, very very small um, uh, gear gears. It's not called gears, but yeah, something like this mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, of course, from time to time, we have some very original applications, like, for example, NASA is trying to use our robot for uh, micro manipulation of extraterrestrial samples, like basically uh, dust or, I don't know, Mars, you know, <laughs> lunar <laughs> rocks, whatever. Um, uh, or we have our very, very first client was actually a Montreal company that uses the robot for microsurgery of um, of lab animals uh, but most applications are very very simple uh i mean simple it's it's i, I wouldn't say simple but very um it, it's challenging because they need precision and everything but it's uh, if i show it to somebody who is not in robotics they will say like oh what the robot is just moving <laughs> stuff from point a to point b no, it's not like rocket science or whatever but it's um <clears throat> Oh, in all these cases, you cannot have a, a human operator because it's really like a very, very small cell. Mm -hmm. Like in watchmaking, you know, uh, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, somebody uh, sitting and just uh, putting these small gears in a, in a like kidding operations. Mm -hmm. uh, or um, So it's, uh, yeah, just small products, just displacing very, very small parts. Um Instead of having a bigger robot, you have this one, which is very, very compact. So that, that's it. That's the main, uh, it's as simple as this. They, they buy it because it's very small. 